You can call it a game, but I call it escape building generals to stomp your face like Scipio. Hey guys, welcome to Ebony Bites. I'm jumping in a little sudden and a little crazy here. Uh, this is a great server war going on. I'm taking lots of rallies. As you can see, they've got three going on me now. This has been going for about, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. Taking these hits. Um, and I wanted to get in here and show you guys some reports and some defenses. Um... But, but things are still hot, which is fine. It'll be good for the video. We'll just do some defending and fighting while we're talking here. Go and grab those puppies back. Well, they're going to hit me with three, so it'll be, you know, pretty large. I better stack up here. Do some larger healing. Okay, whatever that takes. You got me down to 4-7. My fighting weight is 5-5, five, 5-6 five, five, or something. I don't know how many rallies they let hit just now. 1, 2, or 3, but they didn't put me down too much. They, they pounded my T1 horses, all right. We'll throw a few of those back in the running. I tend to not revive all the way down the last couple because it freezes sometimes on the last one. All right, looks like they shot... No, it looks like they shot three at me. Let's get that scout out of the way. All right, they hit me with three there. What are, what are we doing? Looks like they hit me with another one. Let's just... I think really, you know, one of the main tricks to fighting here is just keeping completely calm. It's perfectly fine. When, you, when you've built yourself intricately to have a lot of room to breathe, relax, take a breath. You know, you got room to breathe. I mean, their entire alliance would have to be slamming waves in faster than they can think, and then also themselves be healing, right? So, for them to get to the bottom of my cash uh, before I can heal up would be quite a feat for them. All right. Well, those last three reports. Let's see what they popped in there. Um, looks like they hit me with calf. It did not go well. They hit me with here ground again. Didn't, didn't go well. Um, what did we pop me with here? Ground again. Hm, interesting. And then what they do? Looks like they did a calf. So they're they're trying to run the full. Yeah, you know, they're trying to run through the whole thing here. They're doing a good job. They're rallying really quickly. A lot of them are sending. Um. And these guys are really coordinated. If any of you guys from this other server end up watching this video here, I'll probably send it to you guys uh, just because <laughs> this has to be a rare experience for you guys as well to be able to do this many rallies over and over again. It's been fun as hell for me. Um, this this Sir Erdrick right here wrote me a little mail here earlier. Thanks for the rallies. Nice defense, brother. I wrote him back and told him thank you and complimented him. You guys are really good. Um, nobody nobody lost this war to be honest with you man it, it's been amazing score aside you know we're winning score wise but these guys are amazing and i've been really impressed with their skill level with their defenses they largely run um on t1 defenses but they do them really really well um you can see uncle bilbo's there with with 10 i'm right under him capacious there with eight seven it's been a lively one 34 to 27 hey cheers to you guys you guys are amazing let me check my buffs a few seconds i don't know if they'll keep doing this um we'll see i really just wanted to get in here and show you guys how long they've been going at it i mean look at this i, I just wanted to save these um because man they came in hot and heavy here for the last 30 minutes or so you can pick any one of these in there they're pretty sweet. You know, a lot of these hits are getting over a billion on both sides. You know, popping a few solos in there at me, too. Trying to take advantage of me once, mm -hmm. you know, once they pound me with a giant um, um, rally like this one. And try to sneak in a couple solos after that. Hit me while I'm weak. Um, and, and I say that complimentary, they did it well. The reason they weren't successful here is not because they didn't pound the crap out of me with lots of very successful rallies. They did a good job. It's just, <laughs> come on, man. Defense is what I do. This, 
it's I live for defense now I was getting tore up a little bit attacking these guys I usually do they have really good defenses I'm not an attacker but I'm a defense player for the last eight or ten years it's what I live and breathe and I love to showcase it here and let's go in um, I don't want to keep you guys forever on this video I just thought it was a great one and figured they would be hitting some more but let's just take a look why is this happening right so how what are they doing to hit what am I doing to defend you well you can see I've got Takanada Take nada, take nada. I like to say take nada uh, on my assist and Subutai on my main wall general, which a lot of you probably just dropped your mouth open or cursed or insulted me or something because who would have Subutai on their wall? It's very strange. I think other people also look at that and think it's suspect and so they just willy nilly send at me. But as you can see, uh, there's rhyme to my rhythm or rhythm to my rhyme, there's a reason I have Subutai in there. You might want to take another look at him and consider how he may work in a wall. All right, here we go on stats. Um, you can see across the board my defense stays pretty high. Um, that's typical for defense. It's easier to be fit across the board than it is an attack wave, obviously, as they are pointed. But, you know, keep my siege rocking up there pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty siege heavy. And uh, I keep my um, debuffs up pretty high. You can see I basically smoke their defense or uh, their debuffs every time, which is really helpful to me. Now, what I was doing live, um, I wasn't changing much. I basically run this defense system right here. It's a blend between ground, archer, and siege. And what I do, though, is I watch what they're sending. And there's basically three things I do while I sit in defense battle. Defense battle, specifically. Three things that I do is I sit and I change my debuff books. So I'll look at the rally they've got coming in, and I might adjust those debuffs. I'll just come over here and manually change that. I might go to both archer, or if they're lining up rallies back to back, I might do a siege, then an archer, or a cavalry, whatever. I make sure and try to uh, quickly debuff whatever they're sending to me, but I leave my other gear actually the same. I'm very confident I've built my uh, um, account around the ground archer and siege books. It really complements my account, so I basically leave those there. But I do adjust the debuffs. And then what I also do is I will ghost or send out waves. So if they set a big ground rally, for example, I, I might just take my finger, my finger and flick it over once and march, um, kick my archers out, right? And they just send it ground, bam. Well, they just missed that wave of archers, right? And you might think to yourself, well, what if they send, you know, Cav right after that? Well, I'm not short on archers still, but in any case, I can get it back pretty quickly. So I'll just send out a little supplement, um, and then the, the main thing that I do is I heal, right? So if I'm being hit in defense, I don't even sit here on the main screen and watch it. I don't even care. The flashing red light doesn't matter. I sit inside my city right here, and as I'm sitting inside my city, I will have the little notification pop over here on the left that gives me a warning that I have an incoming attack, and I can just view what's incoming from right there and sit here on my hospital and revive and heal, revive and heal, revive and heal. I mean, so honestly, as a defense player, if I'm just defending, all I have to do is watch this window right here. As long as I can heal faster than you, I got you. And see, you've got to send your wave. You've got to focus on who's sending what. You've got to heal that wave when it comes back. It's got to march there. It's got to march all the way back. I'm sitting here healing and hitting revive the entire time. I mean, it's just almost an impossible mathematical equation to overcome if you've got a deep defense that can withstand a bit. And, uh, you know, it's for another video. I'll get into it later. But um, it, uh, it essentially, there's this weird pocket in defense, too. Um, your first few defenses that you take tend to hurt more. And then, actually, there's this slump for the attacker where they end up not doing good at all. Uh, and they actually lose, they get less and less points. And then, eventually, towards the end, they really swipe all your points off. But man, there's this slump for the attacker that they've got to hit you a couple times and then get through this just beefy, hard, difficult slump to get through in your account, in which time I'm healing and reviving. So, you know, there's not really a way through it. But to be honest, I don't think these guys were trying to get through it necessarily. I think they would have high-fived and been happy if they did, but they were just having fun. I think they were just checking it out. Uh, same as me. We were just having fun here, man. I don't think they actually thought they were going to definitely get through um although they would have liked to have seen that but they were loving the opportunity to to pound me and it was a lot cheaper on them because a lot of them were involved than it was on me you know i had to heal a lot so they didn't mind 
I appreciate it, guys. Hey, I just wanted to get in here and show some cool kicking defense on how um, server war can actually be fun as fun as crap, man. Um, and it's not common to get pounded that many times in server war. So these guys have been good sports. Uh, I'm a K37. I run a trap account. What I mean by trap account is I just tend to look like an angler fish. I look a lot smaller than I am. I'm able to eke and squeeze out a lot of stats and numbers that most people can't. Uh, at this size and so I like looking smaller and it tends to fluster people because they think well surely we can beat this guy there's only so much you can do in a 37 um, but it's amazing what you can do and pushing your keep is not always the best answer all right guys well thanks for tuning in hopefully this server war will continue to be fun and we'll see you on the next video remember ebony bites out <laughs>